So we have these radical symbols again. When this is simplified to 7 to the n, determine the value of n, answer to two decimal places. So again, we have these uh, radicals with different indexes. Uh, we really should rewrite it as a fraction, fractional exponents. So let's uh, look at this one. 7 to the 9 is on the inside. We're going to write down this is equals to 7 to the 9. And this one here, the index is 4. The index <clears throat> goes on the denominator. So this is going to be 9 fourth for this part here. This is this times 7 to the third. And the index here is 5. It's going to go on the denominator of this fractional exponent. Is simplified to, is equals to 7 to the n. Now, according to exponent laws, when you have the same base and you multiply, you can actually add the exponents. So what we have here is we have 7 to the 9 fourth plus 3 fifth is equals to 7 to the n. And we can simplify this further. So what we have here is the we're going to multiply top and bottom by 5. 4 times, this, this is going to become a 20. So this is 4 times 5 is 20. 9 times 5 is 45. And this here is going to become a 20 by multiplying by 4. So we're going to multiply top by 4 as well. 3 times 4 is 12. So ultimately, we get 7 to the 45 plus 12 is 57 over 20 is equals to 7 to the n. Now we have the same base as 7, so we are, we're allowed to actually make the exponents equals. So we're going to say n is equals to 57 over 20. In order to answer to two decimal places, we're simply going to use our calculator. 57 divided by 20 is equals to 2.85. So we have the answer, two decimal places, is 2.85.